Hi, this is Ken Okel. In this brief presentation, I want to give you five business videos you need to create now. As a result of COVID-19, businesses are facing a lot of new challenges. I want to give you a marketing edge through video. As a professional speaker and consultant, I use video just about every day to market my business. Some people have said, Ken, what exactly are you doing and how could I do the same thing? I want to give you kind of an idea of a simple way you can start with that process, five suggestions, and at the end of this presentation, you're going to have an opportunity to download a guide, kind of a cheat sheet that can help remind you and your team about how you can be using video to promote your business. First concept that I want to talk to you today about is the fact that in today's world, there's a lot going on. A lot of things are happening a lot of distractions for potential customers. So you really need to make sure that your message is getting through. Some of the older tactics that you used in the past, those may not be getting you what you need anymore. So video gives you an opportunity to do that because you may have had a sign in the past that said, hey, special, come on in, buy one, get one free. In today's world, people may be too distracted to notice it. So video gives you an opportunity to really take people into your world, share more about what you're doing, your hopes, your dreams. Now you can better serve them. Does it a lot better than just a sign? First type of video that I want you to think about. I call this category safety updates. So I'm sure that a lot of businesses have had to make adjustments due to COVID-19. Perhaps you're implementing new cleaning procedures. You may have plexiglass screens up to prevent potential contamination. People may be required to wear a mask. Whatever you are doing, make sure that your customers know what to expect when they arrive with your establishment or have an interaction with your services. Don't let that be a surprise. Make sure that you are carefully defining it to people, letting them know what they can expect, what you've been doing it, and why you're doing it. I think that's very important as well to stress that. You can write that all down, but there's something about seeing a person and hearing it from their words, maybe even seeing some footage of a process done, like cleaning, you're showing people, demonstrating what you're doing every day or every hour. It just becomes that much more real and people can understand, oh, I'm gonna feel safe going to this business. Second category, I call this new offering. So let's say there is something new that you have. You may have had to adjust your business, pivot a little bit. Make sure people know what it is that you're offering. Don't let that be a surprise. Again, we wanna be as transparent as possible about what you're doing. So if there is a new service, for instance, for restaurants, they may have really beefed up their curbside service. What can people expect from that? What will it look like? Will there be delays? Will there be challenges? Are you gonna be standing in a line to pay? Use this opportunity to let people know what are the new things you are offering. Don't let it be a surprise. And again, words are good. Words on a page are good, but I really do feel that video could be that much better. And a lot of these clips, we are talking about things that are maybe you know, a minute, 90 seconds. Just, hi, this is what we're doing. We wanted you to know about this. Thanks so much. To learn more about us, go to our website. Doesn't have to be something very complex. You're not doing Spielberg. It's more of a simple advertisement. Along those lines, I think it's very good to make sure that you're illustrating to people how you're solving problems for them, how your business is able to do things for them that makes their lives easier. You may have some competitive advantages that are different than some of the other people out there who do the same work that you do, but are you telling people that? So if you go to us, you drop off your stuff, you'll be able to pick it up in an hour. Okay, that's a competitive advantage. But if you're not communicating that information to people, that advantage does not exist in their minds because you didn't tell people about it. So really try to think about what are the things that separate you from the, comp the competition how are you able to provide perhaps a better experience or perhaps one where you pay a little more for it, but you get a lot more for it? Make sure that you're letting people know what you offer, how you solve problems for them and make their lives better. Also, give people updates on the state of your business, how things are going. If you've been giving special training to your workforce, especially about things like safety, 
let them do that. If there are potentially future events that are uncertain, let them know, hey, by this date, we should know if we're going to be able to do this. You want to make sure that people understand that you're paying attention to current events, that you're reacting to them. And while the current situation may be unpredictable, you are at least trying to think of every scenario possible. Make people have a good idea of what you're doing and ultimately how they could be a part of it. And that leads us to the fifth video. I think it's important to do some clips that ask for people's feedback, that ask for their advice or opinions about things that you're doing. For instance, if we were a restaurant and we said, hey, we're going to have 50% capacity, we're going to space you out with these things, we're going to make sure these measures are in place, do you feel comfortable coming here or would you prefer to have just curbside service? That type of feedback could help you with your staffing. Now, sometimes you are just going to make a decision based on what you think is true or what you think will happen. But I think it is good to create that interaction amongst your customers where you're saying, hey, what do you think? What's your opinion? We need your help to be the best that we can be. Let us know. These are simple little videos that you can do, but I really think they can create much greater levels of engagement. And in some cases, they may just remind people that you're there. A lot of us have been pretty well sheltering in our homes since March. And we haven't been out and about as much. And as we start to reintegrate into society, we're going to have a lot of questions about things. And you may have a lot of questions about restarting. So use video to open that dialogue, to have that discussion with your customers. Here's that guide I was talking about. So it's just a little handy thing that you can have. One thing I do want to let you know, there is a link in there to a product that I use for video email. It's a relatively simple thing that you can use in terms of getting your message out to customers. It does not require a lot of high-level video editing, stuff like that. So you might want to check out that link on the little cheat sheet. A little more about me. My name's Ken Oko. I'm a professional speaker. You want to find out more about me, go to my website, which happens to be my name. Ken Okel, K-E-N-O-K-E-L. You want to shoot me an email, tvguy at kenokel.com, and I welcome connections on LinkedIn. I hope you've enjoyed this presentation. This is just a snapshot of some of the business videos that you can do. If you'd like to take a deeper dive, feel free to get in touch with me. We can figure out something that would work well for you. I hope everything's going well for you. It's a challenging time, but I do believe that video can play a great role in reestablishing and marketing your business. I'm Ken Ogle. Take care.